Good morning, welcome to the Earmoo Community Centre. My name is Belinda and today we're going to be making banana pancakes and this is one that my girls have learnt how to make by themselves all um, so on Saturday morning this is their breakfast so they get they do it all by themselves and if you'd like to double the recipe um, then go ahead because they get eaten pretty quickly so I'm going to use a banana the ripe bananas the ones with the brown spots all over them are the best so we're going to mash that banana we're going to mash that banana up nice and so it's really really um, runny so you give it a really good mash. Just keep stirring, keep mashing, and it'll start to go quite runny. And that's what we want. That. There we go. Okay, so we get our mashed banana then. Then to this, we're going to add um, some chia seeds. Now, chia seeds, what they do when you mix them with water, they kind of act like an egg. So if you don't have chia seeds and water, you can just add an extra egg if you'd like. So the chia seeds and the water together, they'll go a little bit gloopy um, and they bind things together just like an egg. So we're going to do that. And we're going to add an egg as well to that mixture. Well, and I've dropped some shell in there. A little tip, if you do drop shell into your, your egg, I don't know if you can see this massive chunk there, use another piece of shell to fish it out, if it doesn't keep breaking. Um, there we go. There we go, all gone there. We're going to add our egg. And give that a good mix. So this is all our wet ingredients to start with. And then to this little wet mix, we're going to add a cup of flour. Now, self-raising flour. Now, you can use, I'm using gluten-free flour today. Um, so gluten-free self-raising flour. You can use wholemeal self-raising flour or plain self-raising flour. It's up to you. So whatever you've got on hand, and if you don't have self-raising flour on hand, you can use um, baking powder and um, uh, plain flour to make your self-raising flour. Just um, how, uh, look up on Google how um, the ratios as well. So we're just going to mix this. Now this is going to get quite stiff and quite um, so it's not going. It's going to seem like we haven't got enough liquid in there as yet. And so what we're going to do to this mixture then. So it's got quite sticky and stiff, almost like a dough mixture. But what we're going to do is we're just going to add some milk. So with our milk, I'm just going to add, to start with, I'm going to add a third of a cup. Now this, and the recipe for this is going to be down in the comments under the video. So don't worry about um, writing everything down at the moment. I'm just going to add some milk. Now when we add our milk, this is one of the messy phases as well. Just make sure we don't splash it everywhere as we're, um, we're mixing it in. So what we want is like a thick batter when we finish this. So you may need a little bit more milk depending on what flour you're using. But I think this one's going to work well for us today. That amount. And you can also, you'll see that over, as you're cooking them, especially if you do a double batch, the mixture might get a little bit thicker as you're um, cooking, so you can always add just a little bit more um, milk as you're going through. So that looks pretty good. It's nice and thick, um, but it's it's still going to run as well, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we've got our pancake batter. Now I'm going to turn on my fry pan. And um, you can either use butter or you can use coconut oil to cook in. That's up to you, depending on what you'd like to do. So once your pan has heated up, I've preheated this one, we're just gonna add little dollops of pancake mixture to our pan. Now these will only take a couple of minutes each side. So they, they um, cook quite quickly. 
And what you'll see as they're cooking is you'll, you'll see little bubbles come to the surface. And once the whole top is kind of covered in bubbles, then that's when it's time to flip it. If you try and flip it too early, they'll probably fall apart. It's okay, have another go. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just gonna leave them for two, maybe three minutes. Um, when the bubbles start coming up to the top, we've got bubbles all over the top, then I'll flip them over and give them another couple of minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> 